All right, welcome back everyone for another Fresh Pod review. <laughs> Got all these peppers. I think I mentioned in the last video that Jim sent me more. So I have one still remaining from the last batch, the first batch. It's this um, Bismarck, I think I called it a Bismarck because the K looks like an H, but I looked it up. It's Bismarck chocolate pod. And you can tell looking at it, that's a gnarly pod. Um, I couldn't find, I couldn't find exact um, Scoville heat unit information for it, but I can tell looking at it that it's gonna be similar to a lot of the super hot chocolate pods. So I'm gonna wait on that because the big bean actually scared me a little bit uh, after I ate it. I was like furiously eating hard boiled eggs over the sink, hoping to get some more fat in my stomach to help with that. I survived, but there, there was a little bit of a panic moment. Okay, so what we're gonna do today, because I haven't had it, and it should be much less painful, <clears throat> is this rainforest pod. Cute little thing. I heard these can also be grown as ornamental plants because they're pretty, um, but they're supposed to be pretty fruity, slight uh, tasted tomato. And I think I read that they range anywhere from 10,000 to 30,000 on the heat unit scale. So not too terrible. Uh, what else? Oh, makes sense per, per the name. So uh, rainforest. They're believed to have originated in the Amazon rainforest. So, it means they're very popular in Brazil. All right, I'm gonna cut the top off here. I heard the flesh is thick on this. Oh yeah, it cuts really nice. <clears throat> I need to get a knife just for pot reviews, I feel. Ooh, lots of seeds. Let's get some of those out. And again, if any of you guys want to grow these plants yourself, the link to Jimmy Pickles Pepper Company is in the description. Oh, I should have shown it before I took the before I took the seeds out. Okay. Oh. It broke in half because I like to cut the tops off. Here we go. Yeah, see? Nice and thick. It smells like it might have a tiny bit of heat. But nothing that's gonna hurt me too bad. Mm-hmm. Ooh. Yeah, I love those sweet pods with the really thick flesh. It's just good crunch. Mmm. Yeah. I'm trying to think if I'm picking up anything else. Not really sensing any heat. Um, but again, <clears throat> at that end of the heat unit scale, sometimes I might not be able to pick it up. Oh, yeah, I'm glad I tried that. Uh, I think the day that this airs, I'm gonna be doing something really exciting. Might be a surprise, but I have never been to a hot sauce festival or hot sauce expo. Um, I meant to go to the one in Portland, the big one, a few years ago, but it was um, just not feasible at that time. And then the next year, it was canceled because of COVID. So, haven't gotten to go to one. Uh, but found out, I'm not even sure what Facebook group I was in, but there's a small hot sauce festival down by Puyallup, Washington called the, um, it's the McMillan Hot Sauce Festival because it's at McMillan Farms. I think they're gonna have 15 different vendors, live music, food trucks, 
So we're going to do that, uh, I think the day this is posting. So wish me luck, should be fun. I'm hoping to see some people I know, uh, people that I've met online through this wonderful community, but maybe haven't met in person. So yeah, and, and hopefully I'll try and like film some stuff from the festival as well. And of course, buy way too much hot sauce that I don't need, I want, but I don't need. Okay, well we've got lots more fun left for us. With that, I am Katie Prettyman, the world's okayest competitive eater, and I hope you not only enjoyed this video, but that you have a great day. Bye.